As the vibrant colors of autumn begin to fade, a bittersweet transformation is underway. The crisp air carries the scent of fallen leaves, and each day brings a touch more chill. We're embracing the beauty of this in-between season, a time when nature prepares for the stillness of winter, yet the heart of our farm is still alive with activity. Well, a lot of the novelty of fall has started to wear off. Most of the pretty colored leaves are off the trees and dying and brown on the ground. We've started to go through quite a bit of our firewood supply. So the boys and I are gonna go out today and try to replenish a little bit. When it comes to preparing our woodshed for the cold season, it can feel like the payoff is just a fraction of the effort we pour into it. But there's something deeply rewarding about it too. It's about more than just fuel. It's the satisfaction of knowing we are preparing our home and our family for the cold. It's taking time together to get outside and break a sweat for a common goal. We hope someday we see our kids sharing these same moments with their own kids. You're witnessing a special moment in our family. Our boys are out here cutting wood, but it's more than just a task. It's a rite of passage. As they swing the ax and stack the logs, we can see the pride in their eyes. This isn't just about preparing for winter. Just as one season transitions to the next, we see them transition from young boys to young men. As they learn to handle tools and respect nature, they also discover their own strength and resilience, all the while contributing to our family's needs.
Presley took the handle of the axe to the face for our little log splitter trick. How'd that feel? Uh, not very good. It's always a little bittersweet to see the summer and fall seasons come and go because we look at our garden that was producing all summer long and now it's brown and dead and it's not producing anything. All of our outdoor activities transition to different indoor activities. It's definitely a strange sensation, but all the more reason to take some time to really crack down on our skills and do a lot of reading, do a lot of researching on what we're gonna do better next year. One thing that is still growing though are the carrots. Those do pretty well in cooler weather. We planted them super late in the season, so we weren't expecting a huge yield out of these, but they're getting to a decent size and we'll be able to harvest some with the kids and kind of snack on them here and there. So that's fun. <laughs> Jet was tasked with cleaning his room, so we're gonna see how he did. Oh my, that does look pretty good. Good work, buddy. You made your bed and everything? Holy moly, you're good at that. 